You're caught up in Fast Forward, where we take one word, four places, in three minutes. Today's word is starfish. Let's get started. Really? 1. The birth of a starfish. The reproduction of the starfish is fascinating and diverse. Some starfish start out female and as they age become male. And some starfish are female, but once they become big enough, they split in half, and both halves regrow as males. Some starfish give live birth, and some starfish sit on their eggs much as a chicken of the sea might do. And there's also a species of starfish that starts out as a little squiddish larva that then grows a little starfish inside of it. They both float around near the ocean floor until one day the starfish just suddenly leaves. Both the starfish and the larva then go on living independent lives, with the larva sometimes surviving for months after the separation. One animal becomes two very morphologically different animals? Move over, caterpillar. I've got a new favorite metamorphosis. 2. The death of a starfish. Normally, starfish are very resilient creatures. Not only can they regrow lost arms, but some species can regenerate completely from just one arm. The old story goes that fishermen used to cut starfish in half whenever they caught them in order to reduce natural predation on oysters, and then were surprised months later when the starfish population had exploded. Not only that, but starfish are often covered in armor or spines. But defense is of little use when the enemy is already inside of your fortress walls. Sea stars are suffering from an epidemic of sea star wasting disease, which is not completely understood yet, but is believed to be caused by a pathogen that loves warm water. And since the world's oceans are getting hotter, the disease is spreading at an alarming rate. This disease causes sea stars to literally tear themselves apart, with each of their arms just crawling off in opposite directions from each other. Now that's a horror film. 3. Music. Did you know that Coldplay, the British rock band, used to be called Starfish? The band members say that they chose the name Starfish out of absolute necessity and only had an hour before their first gig to come up with it. They became bored with the name soon after that, but a roommate, Tim Crompton, who was also a musician, offered them the name Coldplay because he had grown tired of it, and reportedly he found it too depressing. Coldplay went on to turn that borrowed name into an international sensation. 4. Nuclear Weaponry in 1962, the United States launched a program called Operation Fishbowl, which was a series of high-altitude nuclear tests conducted on Johnston Island in the Pacific Ocean. The first successful missile was called Starfish Prime, which carried a 1.4 megaton nuclear warhead. It was sent flying way up into the outer atmosphere, reaching 680 miles high before arcing back down and detonating at about 250 miles above sea level. This is actual footage from the explosion that not only knocked out hundreds of street lamps in Hawaii over 900 miles away, but eventually damaged or destroyed a third of all satellites in orbit at the time, including Britain's very first satellite, Ariel 1. Sorry about that, Britain. You know how popular bombs were at the time. This has been Starfish. Leave a challenge word in the description below, and be sure to like and subscribe for more videos. Over and out.